What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, customize PS5s, how to get your hand on one, and a Spidey glitch. Roll the thing. Last week we reported on the demise of PlateStation, the company who was planning on making custom PS5 plates until they were told a big nabra from Sony. But that hasn't stopped folks from doing a little home DIY and creating some incredible looking TV blockers. That's a bad joke for if your PS5 can't fit into your media console and you just put it on top of it and it blocks part of your TV. Anyway, with the PS5's plates being removable and white, it lends itself nicely to customization. So here's a roundup of some of our favorites, which come from the PS5 subreddit. First up, Hawkeye Justin, who plastidipped, which is that rubber coating people use on cars to like black out chrome, for example, the plates to turn the PS5 into a sleek matte black. I'm into it. Then we have Crayons, who custom painted an orange and white design with a skull and PlayStation logo motif. I dig it, I love the use of color and death. Seriously though, I really like it. Inspired by YouTuber Dave2D, Reddit user Akarsh Bansal 11 went for a very on-brand customization by creating a Spider-Man themed shelf. Folks, didn't stop there, people are also customizing their DualSense controllers. Yakuza83 created this all-black DualSense and even swapped out its face buttons with DualShock 4 designs while keeping the controller fully functional. Impressive. On the complete other end of the spectrum, Chris Space, maybe it's Christ Space, sorry, turned the DualSense into a galaxy purple design. And if you're a Series X owner who is feeling really left out and wants some inspiration, the Bard bad on shoot, sorry, turned their Series X into Kingpin from Into the Spider-Verse, and it is just so good! Quite frankly, I'm impressed with not just the creativity, but that people had the idea and actually did it. Do these inspire you? It definitely makes me wish that you could buy a matte black PS5. If all this PS5 talk feels like a bit of salt in the wound because you weren't able to cop one via pre-order, I have good news. Both Walmart and Best Buy have indicated that they'll have PS5s in stock for Black Friday. Walmart has actually said it will have some limited PS5 stock available online November 19th at 3 p.m. Eastern for both PS5 and PS5 Digital before their Black Friday stock becomes available on November 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern, again, all online. Then there's Best Buy who in their latest Black Friday ad also indicated that they'll have limited quantities of the PS5 available online only on November 27th. Good luck to you all. Make sure you're signed in to the retailers if you have accounts with them and have your payment info ready because even if you get it in your cart, you could still lose it during checkout. May the odds ever be in your favor. In glitchy news, Spider-Man Miles Morales, players have run into a glitch, get that, that seemingly swaps the player character model with other objects in the game while remaining totally playable. As chronicled by Polygon, it's not exactly clear what causes the glitch, but some have guessed that it might come down to colliding with objects in the world. Others have found that having the glitch happen once means it'll keep on coming. In this video by Frosty, we see Miles becoming snow, a blank white cube, and a fence, all while taking down a car full of baddies. We also have Spider Trash, Spider Lamp, and Spider Brick, who all retain being fully playable. There is a slight risk to it because some have reported that the game will crash instead of having Miles revert to his normal form. And while we haven't seen any reports of safe corruption or anything like that, it's clearly not ideal. Be careful out there. This does remind me of the good old prop hunt days in Call of Duty. Look at that, I'm always bringing it back to Call of Duty. Oops. And that's your Daily Fix. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video that compares load times on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Download the iGen app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com.